the first conversation of Anton saying that we need to hold the prior generation of, of single mothers um, accountable for, you know, dropping the ball. I agree. I do agree. I agree with that. I think that we need to hold the prior generation of single mothers. And I think we need to hold the prior generation of married people too, because let's be clear. A lot of times we talk about these married households and these two parent households. It's some shit that I had to heal from. And I come from a two parent house. So my mom and dad have been married and together for 42 years. You feel me? So I think that it's conversations. It's, 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 this is a very layered conversation to have. Yeah. And I think getting back to the point of what I said on stage, Fucked up, get your fucked up ass mama did to you. I do think a lot of us had a lot of fucked up moms. I think a lot of us are still fucked up people, and a lot of us need to go see the lady. Yeah, if that's if All right, so, so I, I got I got so quick for two K though. This is real okay. fast. So you said your mama taught you to open doors. She mm-hmm. taught you to be nice to bitches. All that yep. kind of shit right there, right? Yep. All right, which is which is good good life lessons, right? Uh, yeah. You but, yourself, well, through your experience, found out. It's certain bitches you do that to and don't do that to, right? Not certain. The majority you can't do that to. I know, but you you figure that out through yourself, right? Actually. So, like, she gave you tools, right? Yeah, the wrong tools. You took them tools and you saw that some of them didn't fit, so you discarded, right? None of them tools fit, yeah. But I'm just, I'm, apparently you married. Yeah, through trial and so motherfucking that, so tribulation. That through trial um, and tribulation. You never it, opened the door for your wife? What, what, me, what, yeah. what, I, what, what I'm trying to get to though, right? Look, my mom, my dad taught me certain things, right? I took them things I experimented with life. Some of them didn't work. I had to actually maneuver them. I had to actually go experience. So now I can't say that they didn't teach me right because certain things, because if you look at it from the point your, your parents raised to now, it's a whole different world out here. Exactly. But what I'm saying is, it's just I just said that was my first toxic relationship was with my mama because of that reason. Because she told me stuff that sounded good that women like to say, but she know that it wasn't true. She know that women don't go after the good guys. She should have primed me up to be the asshole I was going to be anyway. Wait, 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 wait. You saying that your, you, wait, hold on, hold on. I got to get this. So you said your mama should have raised you and said, hey, bitches ain't shit. That yeah, nigga. Oh, oh, shit. Shit. <laughs> that would have saved me some heartbreak and the joy. You get used to this term BPA. I want you to know what that mean. That means belt the ass, cause I'm for the I'm for the apply it on you now. Cause I I, I, I did my homework. Okay, that's, I don't I don't think that that's fair. I think that I think preparing your your son to be a gentleman can prepare them for a healthy minded woman. Absolutely it's- not. Do you know? The, the heartache that I felt growing up could have just steered me all the way to Futureville. Like I could have been Future. Now was she? Now, were you? Now, were you saying that she she made you a sense you by telling you that, but but didn't like have? Did you have like a man around to help with certain things too? Yeah, yeah. Not, not, not the, the dudes from the neighborhood eventually told me the truth. They 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 they, they steered me on the right road. Now, oh, she had, 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 I, had I listened to my mama my entire life, I'm fucked up out here. But you didn't. But to speak to speak to 2K's point, though, right? Your dad, right? If you're a woman, your dad is going to tell you that these dudes ain't shit. My dad straight up told me that. Yeah. And so he told me how to navigate what you actually should be doing, what you should be looking for, what kind of man you should look for. So I wouldn't understand why your mother wouldn't tell you that, right? Now I, we know the situation he's in, but I'm just saying on average. As a mother, you would want to keep it real with your son, right? Yes, you want him to be a gentleman, but you also want him to know what these women are actually like out here. I think yeah. usually dads do that, though. Dads are the mm-hmm. ones that usually they do. But she, no, my, my more mother kept it real with my catering, loving. That's they what moms are supposed to protect. But so yes, but I know daddy. Hey, that's what I was trying to get to when I asked him, was there any male figures around? Because a lot of the times, those rougher conversations, from my experience, that's mm-hmm. just me. Is is those those conversations was from my dad? My mom yeah. really wasn't out here like. Listen, the conversation, yeah, but, the mom, be, but your mom the is still your mom is still your nurturer, right? So yeah, your listen, mom, your mom never gave me the conversation. The conversations don't need to be had if my mama don't tell me the lies to, to run with in the first place. But it's the not, reason I'm opening up those because my mama <laughs> taught me that will and it was bullshit. That's fair. I but mean, I, and it's good. And it's, and it's good. It's good to it's good to have that. But your mom should have also told you. How women operate because she's been out there. Thank you. She just the truth. Your mama probably didn't want to tell you that because she's one of those women. 
And well, and so, even you know. if she is, that's farther more for you to just tell me the truth. You set me up to get dogged out to protect the, the image of women. No, see, I, I think I think so. Back to what I was saying in the beginning, I think that she was just trying to make you a more upper echelon nigga that fucked exactly. with more upper echelon. But nigga. how, when she knew her and the rest of her, her surroundings wasn't choosing that, but nigga. she leaving him blind. She's that's leaving him blind. Scary. That's a point. That's a good point because you can't try to give me upper echelon habits and whatnot and still and not and not put me in that, in that type of environment or around the type of people. So I definitely agree with you there for sure. One thing about women, y'all are being extra positive and optimistic. That in life, don't we all want better for our kids than what we did? Yes. I mean, I look, look, I did bullshit in my life, right? Mm-hmm. I don't want my son to come near the shit I did. So I'm teaching him differently, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, I I don't I don't get the the maybe because I've been in this space too long, and then I hear every time I see something fucked up, you know what I'm saying? I hear these niggas. Oh, she was black. Oh, it had to be a single mama. <laughs> I'm, I, that's how we constantly hear mm-hmm. across the board, even though it's valid points to it. But I'm saying I don't think we come into it. You know what I'm saying? Balance. You know what I'm saying? We for views. You know what I'm saying? Like the beat up on the strip right now, it gonna get views. You know what I'm saying? And I, I don't get it though. No but we don't. I don't think we come at none of these conversation balance. You know what I'm so saying? We don't. We had these agendas to come at these conversations, and it it, it for clicks and views. It sounds good to sit here and tell a bitch, hey, look, your mama fucked up, whatever. But I don't I don't see it getting nowhere. But that's because there's no nobody's asking for a solution, right? And then when and then when you have people that come from healthy households and try to interject the solution, you don't want it. Well, that was you want one to of my you want to, you want be, to still act like a bitch. What would be the solution? I think finally talking. Can V say something, please? <laughs> <laughs> me first <laughs> word <laughs> y'all because y'all be talking a storm but what that was one of the questions i had because i agree about accountability and you know okay fine you want to hold the previous generation accountable but to me that means that there's a consequence but what's a consequence for them because it's apparently it's already fallen on their children which is you have people like men and women masking their true nature being like selfish egotistical and like all the 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 psychotherapeutic words narcissistic whatever 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 so so what use is it to say let's hold the previous generation accountable they're about to pass away they're they're about to enter the twilight of their years we have to 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 fix ourselves now we can't say let's blame let's blame my mom and dad she she did her things to hold somebody accountable is not blaming that's that's the difference okay no i'm not saying for blaming because when i hear accountable i hear there's a consequence issue like you are responsible for doing this and so therefore you must do x y and z to better yourself but no. your parents had you already in whatever cir- circumstances were there so if you know the your parents chose wrong she chose the wrong mother they chose the wrong father it's already done you're there on earth there's no fixing that exactly. so like Nope. So a lot of times what we don't instead of trying to mask them with other blaming and keep on <laughs> uh, blaming generations. But mm-hmm. Also, it's just about I, I... So what's the solution? That's what I that's what I what, asked. What happens I think that the when one you thing hold that kind of messes everybody up is because everybody always want to blame it on a two parent household. There's a lot of two parent households who people have been raised by both parents and it was fucked up. It's not okay to keep those kids in those situations where the mom and daddy hate each other. Where but on average, it's other. better. Where they fucking all average, the time. Where the daddy not there, but just because his clothes is there, you saying that, his, that you have a two parent household. It's all about just communication and compromise. And a lot of men and women don't want to compromise. It's but- not a woman thing it's not a man thing it's also these men who don't want to compromise to know that raising is more than just putting a paycheck in the hand it's more than just money it's about sitting there teaching these people wisdom and values and giving them character because now we're in a generation where people want to exchange character for cash where people feel like just because this man got money they can be mistreated or just because this woman is giving you good pussy you can mistreat her and it's just a cycle of people feeling like that they can just exchange this Hold on. Hold on. That's how you live in your life. What? What? Your life is a reflection of the thing that you're advocating against. What? Pussy for cash. Okay, listen. No, I don't have sex for cash. Let me just say that. I'm listen, y'all, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. Listen, bro. Like, what? 
You in a relationship no. with a city stud, okay? You I'm you date women. No, with a, with a, with a city stud, baby. Can you you are with a great hello. You are with a great value. Wait, you are with a great value version of me. You are with a great value version of me. Look at your girl, then look at me. I'm who the fuck she want to be, okay? No. Yes, BTA. Be no, 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 no. She great value as fuck. All right? That, that no, plastic dick she put on she is the imitation of mine. Them clothes she wear what is an imitation of me. And an LED background. What? 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 You <laughs> I'm about to show you the crib. Oh, the crib, nice and soft. What do you got, you got today? I got. I, I, you I, have I, I'm not trying to brag. I'm trying to show you the crib. Like last week. <laughs> okay. I'm I can show you the crib. Yeah. 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 Y'all, I had to bring out the little baby kids. I ain't let Hold on, hold on. I ain't let I'm not one of them. I want to ask you another question. Anton, you were about to talk about solutions, right? Hold, holding the, the people accountable in our past. Give me an example of how it would right. look like of you holding 2K Mama accountable. I want to see what it would look like. Well, I'm not going to say 2K Mama because he Okay, you use my mama. mama. But Make up no, a I'm scenario. I'm not using your mama I'm either. Great. I'm going to speak in general. Yeah, I'm go ahead. Gym, I right? I'm a bisexual. Let me throw that out there. I'm bi. My woman is bisexual. Two bisexual women who love the fuck out of each other. You Move Bobby, some I have sex with you. That's Move what you is. Forward. Bisexual. You a fucking prostitute. <laughs> the fuck hey. out of here. Hey. Big hey. lady. Duck the ass. Now, the whole episode. Hi. Okay, hi. Oh. 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 Hey, 2K, how did you know? Huh? How did you know? <laughs> Because she told me the first time I linked up with her. She, oh. <laughs> she with a city star, bro. Everything that they got the city star about her, you with an imitation man, baby. Why you keep speaking on man and you with a girl who want to be me? Lord have mercy. What the fucking accountability that is? <laughs>